Okay, I want to show you that everything is working. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is to home the X, Y, and Z axis. So uh, what you'll see is that the X axis, or excuse me, the Z axis will move up first, then the Y, and then the X. And now the X, you can see it better. Okay, um, now I got a little program. First I'm gonna zero these. And I got a little program over here that will move the axis and you can see how they run. This is the X axis the y-axis and the z-axis and these are moving at about 60 inches a minute so it's fast uh, it's amazing how much better uh, these motors are than the ones you had in them don't worry about that wearing off to the side uh, I still have the panel to put on it uh, it's um, all nice and solid so that's not going to be a problem but anyway, everything's moving right, Brian, and uh, I think you're gonna really love your machine when you get it back. I do plan to bolt it down, and uh, I'll have the control box in with it. And uh, you can see that uh, there's only the four connections, and you can see that I have your um, motor in front uh, also connected to it. In the front panel, you can't see it, but I have a, what do you call it, a e-stop switch. And um, that shuts everything off. Uh, there's a lighted power switch and then there's an engaged disengaged switch when the switch is disengaged you can move the uh, things by normally okay I'm gonna now demonstrate the homing switches work and all you do is go over here on the screen click reference all and the first thing that will happen is the Z axis will come up till it hits the stop, the switch, and then the Y axis, and then the Z axis, I mean the X axis. So everything is working, it's been on, uh, the computer's been on, and the control box has been on for two, three hours now. Uh, like I said, the uh, plate on the side is um, what do you call it all marked top one is input X Y Z you do have to make sure that they're all in nice and tight and similarly here the gecko is already marked uh, this connection here is the uh, input switch and you have to make sure that's tight you plug your uh, router into this back and when you uh, press the E stop in emergency, it shuts everything off, but when you turn the control box back on, the spindle will work again. So you need to be careful with that. But uh, all in all, those motors are fantastic compared to what you had in there. The motors you had in there were 20 years old and the old round style magnets, so uh, they just were tired. So anyway, I plan to ship it back Monday. I might need to talk to you about shipping and we'll go from there. Talk to you later. Bye.